What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out. Any day that I can teach Beatles is a good day. So it's a win. Uh, we're gonna do Hard Day's Night. I'm gonna show you the real way that that opening chord is played, uh, that little ending. Uh, I'm gonna teach it on the six string, but there's 12 string involved as well. Also, thanks for supporting me here at the thing I've been doing for almost four years now, Marty Music. You guys have made this all possible and I just can't thank you enough. Uh, but if you feel generous, I appreciate you uh, subscribing here and clicking the bell notification and checking the links below. All right, here we go. Now this song has a infamous opening jangly chord and it's so cool. Well, it's actually two guitars and bass that make up the chord. So uh, Paul McCartney's playing a D note in the bass. Boom, so then You've got George and John, and let's see here. Oh, so so uh, John is playing a uh, on a maybe an acoustic, I believe. It's a D major chord with the pinky down on the third fret, so that's a D sus four, and you can get the A in there as well. So that's what he's doing. You got the low D, and then you got this chord. But George has an electric 12 string, which if you don't have a 12 string, that's fine. Just play this as if it was a normal guitar, but take an F major triad here. Like that, and then grab the third fret on the pinky, just like it is on the D chord. So you have, but then for extra measure, he's grabbing this uh, G note with his thumb. So if I use my looper, we'll put it all together. I'll start with this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have that. Now we'll add the John Lennon chord. Here it comes. And then the bass note. I just wanted to do that because it was really fun. All right, if you were playing this as just one guitar player, I think the best chord is the, the 12 string chord. And that's it. So the song's pretty easy. It's a G and a C. You can think of the words hard days, night, and I've been F. Like a G, it's been a G, C, G, and F, and back to G, and then a C chord, then a D chord, G, C, G. Starts over, G, C, G, then a F to buy you G, and it's G just to hear you, a G just to see you, G gonna F you everything and then a C major chord and then a D major chord G C G Paul McCartney needs a section oh when I'm home everything seems to be right when I'm home feeling you holding me tight tight yow it's been a hard so it's B minor, B minor, E minor, back to B minor, then a G, E minor feeling you C7 to D. So that's C7, you can play a regular C, but the C7, someone's in there playing it. It's uh, adding your pinky to the third fret G. So check it out, B minor, E minor, B minor, stays on B minor, then G, E minor, C7, then D again. Can 
do it that way as well, or one guitar, you know, depending on what you want to do. You can play the whole thing on acoustic. Okay, now let's get to another a fun part. And this is on a 12 string, but just for ease of teaching, I'm gonna teach you the solo with the six string here, but it's, he does that on the 12 string. G minor, classic G minor pentatonic. Ring finger on that third fret E, which is the, the root note of this little. The minor pentatonic extended run. You hit that twice. Ba, ba, da, ba. Then you go one, three on the A string. And one, three again. Five slide up. Next part, you're barring the third fret A and D, and you do this classic little lick I've heard in so many different places. You hammer, you're holding these two, and you hammer up to the fifth of the A string with one pick. Then you hit the D string, and you just do that. You speed it up. And then eventually I'm doing a up pick on that and a down pick on that. So you transition into a slide from the five in your ring finger five to three slide. So one, two, three, four. I think it's four, but you do that five to three slide and then you're pulling off. So your index finger has to be ready on the first fret of the A. Classic blues thing. And you're pulling that off and then hitting that root, which is that third fret. And then he does that twice and it goes into the So that ending, that 12 string, that, that opening chord that he uses comes back. But forget about that, just focus on this F chord with the pinky on the high E, and you're just cascading down. And it's, it's real quick, but you just... And if you have the 12 string electric, all right, there it was. Thanks again for the continued support, you guys. Much love out there. 
Leave comments below if you feel like it. You can request tunes and all that. Check the links. It helps me out. See you soon.